Good day everyone. In this visualization, we will have to discuss uh, some principal ideas on maintaining tools and equipment. We will now proceed with our learning outcomes. In this maintaining tools and equipment, we have three learning outcomes to study. The first one is check condition of tools and equipment, basic, uh, perform basic preventive maintenance, and restoring tools and equipment. But for this, for the sake of this discussion, we are only to uh, discuss this first one, this checking uh, condition of tools and Let equipment. us explore, explore some uh, question about this topic. This is our preload question. Which of the following is an advantage of using proper tool? Letter A, speed of accomplishment. B, accuracy. Letter C, quality of work. Letter D, all of the above. Now, pwede natin ilagay, justify yung ating answer. Kung marin man dun yung ating napili, you can explain your answer below. We will now proceed to our proper discussion and learn. Uh, our topic now is checking conditions of tools and equipment. This is learning outcome number one. Here, this is the definition of tool. Now, a tool as Defined as an implement used to modify raw materials for human use. So tools can be considered as an extension of the human hand, thereby increasing its speed, power, and accuracy. So we have here 1 to 4 advantages, uh, basic advantages of using proper tool. We have here the efficiency of the work, high quality of the work, speed of accomplishment, and okay. we will go to the types of tools tools have different types the first one is the manual hand tools so these manual hand tools are the most common and basic basic form of equipment and they do not require the speed of power hand tools do not have access to power sources like electricity but are perfect for operations this include hoes, screwdrivers, chisels, wedges, drift pins, hammers and many more this is the uh, we call that pneumatic or pneumatic hand tools these tools Perform the operation task at the push of a lever. They are powered by compressed air. They include chippers, drills, hammers, sanders, etc. This next one is the power hand tools. Oh, power na siya. Tools which are handheld but are powered by electricity gumagamit na ng electricity. This include chainsaws, high grade motors, electric drills, angle grinders, jigsaw cutters, tappers, and fasteners. And we have many more uh, equipments that uses electricity. We also have heard the non-functional tools and equipment so what is this about non-functional tools and equipment it is highly recommended 
that you must inspect all tools and instruments and equipments before using them to ensure that they are used to specifications. Avoid using defective hand tools and equipment to avoid or prevent accident. We have now heard the methods of identifying functional and non-functional tools. So, it's good to know there are methods to identify those functional and non-functional tools. The first one here is visual inspection and it refers to the visual observation of an expert on the appearance of the tools and equipment. Kumbaga sa tingin lang, malalaman mo talaga kung ang tools ay pwede pa, appropriate pa na gamitin, isabak sa trabaho. The second one is functionality. Vibration or extra noise from the operation means problems when parts and accessories is started to develop. The next one is the performance. When there is something wrong with the performance of better hand tools or equipment, they need an immediate repair or maintenance. Four, power supply. For electrically operated equipment, failure to meet the required power supply, malfunction will occur in the part of hand tools or equipment. So, magkaka problema siya sa operation ko. Mayroon tayong 120 volts, mayroon tayong 220. Kailangan alam natin kung alin doon na akma sa tools na ginagamit natin. The fifth one is the persons involved. This refers to the technical person who has the knowledge, skills about the technology. Alright, so we will have now some refresal questions about what we have learned. This is just a true or false, one to five, a review questions for our past discussions. Number one, there is no difference in the quality of product whether we use proper tools or not. Wala daw pagkakaiba kung gumamit ka naman ng tamang tool. So, hindi. Siguro okay lang naman, ano? So, is that true or false? Number two. The screwdrivers, chisels, and claw hammers are few examples of manual tools. Mga uh, manual tools ba yan? Number three. Power hand tools does not require the use of electricity. Number four, persons involved refers to technical person who has the technical know-how. Is that true or false? The last one is visual inspection. Refers to visual observation of an expert on appearance of tools. So, hopefully we got perfect, ha? Huh? One to five review questions for our discussion. We will now try to apply what we have learned from the past discussion. This is a multiple choice. We have to encircle only the correct letter for our answer. Number one, at the push on the wheelbarrow, a squeaking sound was heard. What is that? Letter A, performance. B, functionality. C, power supply. Number two, 
glue hammer always needs letter A, visual inspection, V, functionality, letter C, power supply. Number 3. You spend an hour cutting a piece of wood using your saw. Letter A, visual inspection, B, performance, letter C, functionality. The fourth one is instead of an hour, you cut five pieces in just three minutes. Letter A, accuracy, B, speed, C, quality. And the last one, the work was done with ease and comfort. Letter A, accuracy, B, speed, letter C, efficiency. Okay, thank you for watching. Our reference for this video lesson is competency-based learning material for grade 8.